Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about transitioning. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a little bit of a story. Hi Frederick, I wrote some feedback. I wrote you some feedback a while ago. Now I actually have a question. I'll be brief since I don't want to take up too much of your time. I've been working as a designer only for web layouts for about seven years now. A year ago I started seriously with HTML and CSS which is going great. Uh, two, to three month, uh, two to three months ago I started with JavaScript, working with the DOM, event listeners and creating complete websites. Now I wanted to start with really making little applications, connecting to APIs and getting my feet wet with Node. We sell a lot of WordPress sites in our company. The problem is we only have one backend developer who knows PHP and I would love to contribute. I can spin up, an, uh, up a require and include but that's about it i can't make a simple con i can't make a simple contact form which drives me crazy sometimes i would like to contribute but learning php and js is kind of scary but sending f but for sending forms P php is mostly required right i think you know where i'm going with this i should keep should i keep working until i get better at J javascript or start with php I know that it depends, but maybe you have some advice for me. I really appreciate all the content and the answers you give out. Greetings from Germany. Well, thank you, and greetings back from. Well, it's actually so. It is actually sunny now. Sunny Gothenburg in Sweden. So, uh, let's start you off with a few things first and foremost. Um, the the message that you wrote to me, like the email here, gives me an indicator that you are correct. That you have, you've kind of started your journey as a software developer, uh, because there are a few things that, uh, like, uh, uh, that is that doesn't make sense to me, or rather that indicates that yes, you are a beginner. And if if your desire is to say submit contact forms or anything like that and you are working with WordPress and your main stack is PHP like where you're, uh, you're using PHP for the back end uh, then yes you're going to need to learn PHP in order to at the very least receive that information you can send a form without PHP if you wanted to you can use just like I mean um, that's kind of the thing that this is where it gets I, I don't want to swamp you with a too complicated answer here, but su suffice to say, when you send a form, like the information that say that you're logging in into a login form, well, it's not PHP that is helping you send the information. PHP has helped you get the web page usually. It's not always the case, but that web page it's actually living in your browser, and it is the browser who is going to take the information that you put into your form, your login credentials, and send that to your server, which is in this case going to be a PHP server. And then PHP is going to receive that message over HTTP or HTTPS, depending on what we use, and pull out that information that came from your browser, and it's going to check your credentials and say, hey, yes, you can log in or you can't log in or something like that. Now. The, the to answer your question whether or not you should learn PHP or focus on JavaScript, it really it really does come down to what you want to do. If you want to learn how ba the backend works, then I think that you should look at PHP because it's I mean it's a great language. It's fairly easy. Like, I mean it's a very beginner friendly la language, and in my experience, it's one of the nicest languages to to do web, like specifically doing web work uh, in backend. Uh, and I mean, JavaScript, it's a bit like it's probably a require. It's gonna be a requirement for you if you want to be able to make serious web pages that are mod of mod modern standard. So my answer is gonna be boringly enough to do both and see where that leads because uh, it, it, this is the thing that I try to preach a little bit. When you ask, should I learn A or should I learn B, you've already, in my opinion, done the reverse of what you need to do. 
you should it's similar to I guess let's a, a someone who wants to be a construction worker or like a builder or something like that to ask should I learn to use a hammer or should I learn to use a saw and anybody who is like a master or someone who's an experienced carpenter will ask what are you making and that is the thing that I'm gonna give you back what are you making because what you're making is the thing that determines the tool that you should learn. That's pretty much, honestly, that is all there is to it. And that's the, it's the thing that, it's the most easy way, in my opinion, at the least now that I've been doing these videos for a little while, to identify whether or not you are a beginner or if you are an experienced software developer. Because the beginners usually, since you don't know all that much, and it's completely fine. You don't feel any stress over that whatsoever because this is how everybody starts. I mean, I started the same way. I had no idea how, I can nobody knows how all of these IT things work until you learn about it. And so the first thing is, of course, you ask, okay, what should I learn? But as I said, the, 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 you have to know what you want to do before you can ask the question, what should I learn? So my suggestion to you is to learn both put your time and effort into learning both PHP and JavaScript because if your desire is to help out your your coworkers working with uh, PHP on the back end well then yes you're going to ha then learning PHP is going to be a requirement because it's the language that you're using right but on the other hand since you're a designer and you do a lot and you work with front end well then yes learning javascript and node and css and html and like all of this stuff that's also part of it because it's too you're it's uh, it, it, what you're trying to become basically what you're describing is a full stack developer and as a full stack developer you will need to know both of the like both of these stacks both the things that are happening on the back end and what's happening in the front end and usually that takes a little bit longer than just focusing on one or the other because in, in some cases you have front-end developers who only work with JavaScript, CSS, HTML and so forth and then you have back-end developers who only work with PHP or Java or C Sharp or Python or Ruby or whatever you might be using, right? So what I want you to take away from this is that as for learning PHP if you want to contribute to a WordPress project I think that yes, then that's a very good investment for you to make and also when it comes to learning JavaScript that is also a very good investment. I would say that JavaScript is universally something that every web developer needs to learn to a certain point at the very least. Uh, you don't have to be a master of JavaScript but you're gonna have to learn it. It's, uh, it is the language that we use to build practically all front-end related things. So if you're gonna have a UI or something like that for your application, CSS, HTML and JavaScript are hard requirements. Uh, and then I want to end by just saying that let these things take a little bit of time. So if you like, you, know, you have a good, I think you have a really good first product here. You have problems and you've ex that you have expressed with contact forms. So let's try. So so start there. Learn how to set up a PHP server and learn how to create a contact form. Maybe just in PHP to start off with. Get that to your browser input some information and then get it back to the server so that the server can use that information for something. That's a very good, like, I'd like to call these practice exercises. You focus on a very specific problem and then you do that a few times until you figure out, aha, this is how it works. That is how I learn myself and I highly recommend going about, going about it in these tight very controlled exercises um, uh, for all things that confuse you within IT. Have a great day.